What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding Godzilla vs Kong in 2020. So, in the last couple of months, I have posed many different questions such as which side will the military take in this film, how the size of these two monsters will affect the fight itself, and the other titans that may be involved in this battle. But in today's video, I do want to focus more so on the monster that should be focused on. It is a very unique situation and a tough question because both of these monsters have their name in the titles. It is nothing like Godzilla King of the Monsters where you do have King Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra all in the same film, but the main focus focus of course is Godzilla. We are now dealing with two figures that are considered kings and gods of their franchise. While there are lots of other very powerful monsters out there like King Ghidorah, Biollante, and Destroya, Godzilla was and still is the king. Kong may have a tough time against very strong creatures like the big one and the minor squid, but at the end of the day on Skull Island, he is considered the king. So clearly, this is a very unique situation. We have two kings going head to head. While that makes the battle about 10 times more exciting and enticing, it also does cause some issues with the storyline and the focus of the movie. In order for the writers and directors to find out who they should focus on, questions such as who do the fans know better, which monster have the fans seen more of, who is going to bring more interest to different sequences, and so on. Whether we want to admit it or not, in the last couple of decades, we have seen a lot more of Godzilla than we have seen of Kong. After all, as far as we know, there is no connection from King Kong 2005 and Kong Skull Island 2017. So in a way, we have only seen Kong in the big screens for about 15 to 20 minutes total. The Godzilla franchise has not been around as long as the King Kong franchise, but there has still been a lot more films and overall a lot more screen time. And when you do look back on Kong Skull Island, the focus of that film was more so on the island itself, figuring out that monsters do exist, and Packard trying to get his revenge on Kong for killing off the crew. So while we did learn a bit about Kong here and there, overall we still do not know much about his history or his future. He was only a juvenile during Kong Skull Island, and he is still growing up until now. So considering the new size, the new design, and also the events of Godzilla King of the Monsters, you would have to make the assumption that the main focus of Godzilla vs Kong would be Kong. By the time this battle comes around, it will have only been one year since the last Godzilla movie and over three years since the last Kong one. So in that sense, obviously fans are going to be more familiar with Godzilla, so it kind of would make all the focus go towards Kong. After all, if they don't get him off Skull Island by the time Godzilla King of the Monsters ends, a good portion of Godzilla vs Kong will be spent on that. But what do you guys think? Which monster would you rather see a focus on, Godzilla or Kong? Explain your choice down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.